Or Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachak Wadash, the bonus of the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, let me let me get into this real quick. Uh, North Korea Christmas gift. There we go. Okay. Uh, boy, let me see. Let's check this out. All right, I actually saw this article. All right, it says here, North Korea warns U.S. to prepare for Christmas gift, quote-unquote, but no one's sure what to expect. All right, and, um, you know, this is the times that we're in. All right, this could all be just propaganda. For all we know, they, nothing might happen. But, hey, you know, being that these are the times we're in, all right, this, uh, this is interesting information, all right, to bring out. Okay, keep in mind how things started with North Korea. Things started picking up, all right, and then it calmed down a little, and then it started shifting more towards the east, towards uh, towards uh, 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 Iran, okay. You had this whole trade war with China, all right. Then you had the whole chip thing. So it's like the prophecies, you know, you, you're hearing a, uh, a little bit from each, all right. And then next, it's like the next go around is is uh, more intense than ne than uh, before, okay. But um, hey, the scriptures talk about when they shall say peace and safety. All right, which I'm gonna get. All right, because now you have Trump talking about they're so close to having a uh, a deal. All right, to avert to, to completely do away with this uh, trade war. Okay, and all these things going on. But understand that the scriptures say that it's when you think everything is gonna be okay, when when you think you're safe, when you think everything is calm and quiet, that the sudden destruction is gonna hit. All right. So it says here, North Korea will send a quote unquote Christmas gift to the United States. But what present what but what that present contains will depend on the outcome of ongoing talks between Washington and Pyongyang, a top official has warned. The ominous comments, which some have interpreted as a sign that North Korea could resume long-distance missile tests, comes as the clock ticks closer to the country's self-imposed end-of-year deadline for nuclear negotiations with the Trump administration. Talks between the two sides have appeared to be in a rut in recent months, with North Korea conducting several shorter-range missile tests, uh, in a statement translated on the on the state news agency, Rai Thai Song, a vice, a first vice minister at the North Korean Foreign Ministry working on U.S. affairs, accused U.S. policymakers of leveraging talks with Kim 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 Jong Un for domestic political gain. All right, and I'm not really gonna read the whole thing, but you get the point. All right, that this is this is what you have going on. So they're saying based on how talks go, all right, with uh, the U.S. and North Korea, all right, that the U.S. should pre prepare for a quote unquote Christmas gift, all right, which the Americans, sh uh, the American uh, 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 citizens should really quote unquote have that in mind because with you, with the kind of government you have, all right, they hey man, they could they could they could set up you know anything that they want, all right, especially getting to the end of the year, man, okay. So it's definitely, you know, the, now is the time to really have your eyes open, all right, and really watch what's going on behind the scenes, man. They like to put a lot of distractions out there so they can really work behind the scenes, all right? Now, you have that, okay, which, let me, matter of fact, let me get this precept that I quoted. Okay, um, what's that, uh, when they shall say peace. All right, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right, so this is this is what's going to happen, man. When they think that everything is all good, all right, that's when the Lord is going to hit them, man, because your guard is going to be down. Okay, and like it says, um, as as travail upon a woman with child, because when a woman's, when, when that, when her water breaks, no matter how painful having a baby is, she has no option but to have that baby, man. All right? And that's that's the position that a lot of these people are going to be put in very soon. All right? Things seem quiet and all that. Well, guess what? Most high is about to do something real soon. Now, I have another article here. It says, uh, Russia to test out sovereign internet soon. Okay? It says, uh, Russia will carry out tests on Monday on the reliability of its domestic internet infrastructure in the event that the country is disconnected from the World Wide Web. The communications ministry said the threatening test or the threat testing 
uh, will take place in stages on December 23rd and will not affect regular Internet users. The ministry said on Thursday, Russia enacted a law known as the Sovereign Internet Bill in November aimed at tightening state control over the network, but which free speech activists say will strengthen government oversight of the country's cyberspace. All right, so keep in mind that it's not it's not a uh, uh, um it's not a uh, uh, a fable when we tell you that these 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 uh these elites they have a uh, uh, internet kill switch man, all right that can shut down the internet with a with a with a flick a, a click of a button man, okay, and and a lot of them will tend to, hey man don't don't be surprised when when things start going down man, crazy things start going down in the U S and they don't want the information to get out. They can easily just just shut it down because in today's day and age, a lot of information is spread throughout social media, all right, where they can't really uh, filter it too much because you have people just constantly uploading things on there, all right, bringing out truth of, of, of uh, things because, see, the media is controlled, all right? They can easily say whatever they want on the media, all right, mainstream media, but when it comes to social media, people people put out, you know, what, what it is for what it is. And it's harder to control that. So instead of trying to control it, they they say, well, let's just shut it down. All right. Hence, you see, they're trying to uh, uh, come down on our videos. All right. You know, and, and uh, basically trying to get us off the streets, trying to get us from to stop preaching this word, man. All right. But that's all prophecy, man. The scriptures talk about that family of the word. OK, so let me get that real quick. Amos chapter eight, verse 11. OK, man, because, hey, pay attention, man, especially get into the end of the year, into the new year. A lot of big things tend, tend to happen. All right, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. All right, and that's what's going to happen, man. Okay, when you need it most, because guess what? You can persecute us all you want. But what happens when, when, you, when the Lord, because the Lord is using that, all right, to, to basically take us, to, to bring this famine, you know, to stop us from preaching this word. Now, once once that happens and all hell is still going to break loose, the chip is still going to be made mandatory. Martial law will still be declared. Pestilence, delete, diseases, all these things will still be happening. But what are you going to do then? You know, you want them to take us to, 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 to stop this word from coming out. Now that it's stopped and all the things that we've been speaking of are happening, what are you going to do then? It says that you're going, they're going to seek the word, but they shall not find it, man. And only those who have it are going to be stable, man. Okay, Isaiah 33 and 6. All right, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, so those who have this knowledge, man, hey, continue to build upon it, build your faith, build your spirit. All right, because that time is coming when this word is going to be taken away. And you either got it or you don't. And if you don't, you're not going to be stable, man. But if you do, hey, man, the Lord is going to be with you. And in, in, in everything you do, man. All right. So with that, you know, just a quick, quick uh, 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 news update. All right. As to what's going on. All right. Just keep your eyes open, man. As the scriptures say, we're that those watchmen upon that watchtower. All right. So with that, I hope this was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. Until next time, Shalom.